What's going on everybody? Ryan Williams here of FanDuel and we're here for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up NFL. We got to talk about it. It's being lit right now. It's 24-7, 365 and we're here to talk about the best landing spots for Juju Smith-Schuster as free agency it is already buzzing. Trades happening. Uh, we're talking about the free agency market. It's a fun time to uh, be invested in the NFL as we get geared up for the draft. But before we talk about these plays, I just Wanted, or before we talk about these landing spots, I just wanted to shout out, you know, the YouTube channel, everything that we're doing there, guys. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, get all the action, and we're going to be talking about uh, the draft probably here uh, right around April, so only a couple of weeks away. We got, like I said, free agency is already buzzing. We got some trade uh, trades that have happened in that are changing the landscape, changing the market for the NFL. So make sure you're catching all of our content as we react to those videos. But as I said, we're here on the FanDuel Hurry Up. We're here talking about the best landing spots for Juju Smith-Schuster. The 25-year-old wide receiver has not made a Pro Bowl since the 2018 season. Only one 1,000-yard receiving season under his belt but I think there could be some good spots for him. Let's get into him. We're going to start it off here with the Dallas Cowboys. Now, the Dallas Cowboys are a little bit of a long shot. They were dealing with uh, some, some cap space issues that they were going to be looking at heading into the 2022 season, but they did. They are making the move to release Amari Cooper to free up some space there. Instead of a 22 million cap hit, it will be like a 6 million cap hit. Um, and they could be also losing Cedric Wilson in free agency. This guy has been reported to see around six six to $8 million per year on his new contract. That's not one that the, that the Cowboys are going to be able to afford. So they definitely might still be in a market for wide receiver with, my, with Michael Gallup being up and or he's he's now back and then you're talking about cd lamb being there but this is a team that's you know routinely been throwing out three wide receivers if not four for Dak prescott so we look at juju smith schuster who could come in here we know he likes to play inside play in that slot but can also be moved to the outside and we saw him in the offseason uh, earlier this year talk about how <laughs> exciting it would be to catch balls from Dak prescott and how he would love to be playing in the dallas facilities i think that you know when you factor all that in of him wanting to be there we know that even with his troubled history uh with you know the tiktok videos getting into it with Mike Tomlin because he's not playing the dance music for the kid, uh, dancing on the logo of opposing teams in 2020. Uh, we could still, you know, see ju this is a team in Dallas where they'll, they'll go after a guy like that um, as long as he can perform on the field. And he's been dealing with some injuries um, over his career, definitely ailing that shoulder last year that held him to only five games, no touchdowns over the five games. But I think he could uh, fit in nicely here with the Cowboys regime, and that would definitely do well for his fan for his fantasy stock as well being tied to a guy like Dak Prescott let's talk about the second landing spot that I, I find a little bit interesting and I'm not sure how much steam it's been catching catching across the industry but let's talk about the New York Jets um, the New York Jets could be in the, in extreme position for a wide receiver need here they potentially could be losing Jamison Crowder which seems likely as he's aging there Keelan Cole was a the guy they went after he's hitting the free agency market again and then Braxton Berrios as well uh, as potential free agent now two of these guys in Crowder and Berrios are are pretty much slot receivers for any team that they're going to be playing for. So they're losing two of their key slot receivers, guys that Zach Wilson was leaning on to kind of move the ball down the field last year. And so you're thinking about that, bringing Juju Smith-Schuster, most of his snaps are coming out of the slot. He just seems like an ideal fit for this team who's definitely going to need some wide receiver help if they let all of these pieces go. Now you talk about the GM who's there and Joe Douglas. When he was at Philadelphia, this guy was known for bringing in wide receivers, whether it be through the draft or through free agency. He brought in a plethora of guys like, like Alshon Jeffrey, uh, I'm drawing, drawing blanks on the names, but Greg Ward was one of them. He, this guy, he's known for uh, getting uh, skill, skill players in position playmakers uh, at the wide receiver position. So I don't see any issue here with him now being at the Jets that they won't definitely look uh, to fill a need and avoid here. They could go after you know a, a big name like like Amari Cooper or some others that could be potentially hitting the market. But if they're looking for value, if they're looking at just filling the slot role, I think they definitely 
definitely are in the mix to take a shot here on Juju. Now, when we're talking about his fantasy stock there, of course, we still have Corey Davis, who's there, and we got the 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 kid in um, Elijah Moore, who, you know, was a rookie last year, and he showed some flashes as well. So he's definitely going to be the third spot there. But again, the way that Zach Wilson was utilizing the slot receivers and Jamison Crowder and Braxton Berrios, we saw them have, you know, decent games as far as the PPR format would go. So I'd still have him in the wide receiver 30 range. I think right now he's sitting like well in the wide receiver 40 range, Juju Smith-Schuster that is. So we could still see him have some value here in landing with the Jets. And finally, we got to talk about the the best spot that Juju Smith-Schuster could absolutely land in, the, the team that offered him a deal, a one-year contract last year, uh, and he, he turned it down to go be with Ben Roethlisberger on his last hurrah, and that's the Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs were in the Juju Smith-Schuster sweepstakes. It seemed like it was going to be, a, not lock, but it seemed like it was going to be fairly certain that he would go play there. Um, a, lot, a lot of talk was being made about Juju Smith-Schuster joining the Kansas City Chiefs, and he decided to ultimately uh, turn down their deal and, and, and go play uh, with the Steelers for one last year. So, you know, they say third time's a charm, maybe second time's a charm. We saw that Patrick Mahomes, obviously, this we know how explosive this offense can be. But when you're talking about after Tyree Kill, after Travis Kelsey, McCole Hardman, he's shown flashes uh, over his career, but is that enough to to really be a, a third cog in this offense? Uh, Byron Pringle, he's, you know, kind of came on as of late in the season in 2021 and had some flashes in the playoffs, but is he really going to be a, a stud wide receiver uh, two or three that you can rely on? And then we know that Demarcus Robinson is also there as well, but they definitely could use some offensive help that kind of, um, showed its face in the in the AFC Championship there as they were going against the Bengals and really struggled in the second half of that offensive game. So you bring in a guy like Juju, who again, yes, he has the injury history. Yes, he was his numbers hadn't been there since 2018. But when you're talking about getting him with a guy like Patrick Mahomes, when Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey are going to take so much pressure off of Juju Smith-Schuster, he would be an absolutely slam dunk of a, of a late round uh, wide receiver uh, fantasy option. If you're drafting in best ball right now for the potential to get him uh, landing with the Chiefs in a stellar spot, you know, that's that's amazing. He's going to see his ADP skyrocket from where it is now at the wide receiver 40 range uh, la landing with this team. And and I think that, you know, they will try and, and make a make a splash play with the Kansas City Chiefs that is in bringing in another piece. They just recently resigned, re-signed Josh Gordon, but we saw that his snap counts weren't really amounting to much and maybe that was because he was you know kind of kind of signed on uh after the season had already started and wasn't able to kind of get the full run of offense under him so maybe he he's that piece that they can rotate into but when you're talking about Juju Smith-Schuster being involved in this offense catching balls from Patrick Mahomes this is a slam dunk uh fantasy asset that you could be reeling in uh, if he were to land there. So those are going to do it for my three spots there for Juju Smith-Schuster. Again, we talked about the Dallas Cowboys, New York Jets, and Kansas City Chiefs. Guys, if you if you like the hurry up videos, if you like the reaction videos that we're doing for the NFL all season long, make sure you're subscribed to the FanDuel YouTube channel. We love rocking along with you guys. You can follow me on Twitter as well at Ryan Alexander underscore W. We appreciate all the love, guys, and we'll catch you next time on the fan do a hurry up till then peace